Hello. Thanks for making time to chat today. How's it going? Well, uh, a bit nervous because uh, I have never have been interviewed. So there's a first time for everything. I'll I'll be nice. Um, yeah. So starting off, uh, you live on Tenerife, right? Yeah. Yeah. In Canary this... Islands. Did you grow up there your whole life? Yeah. Yeah. I born here. That's crazy. So I'm curious, like, technically, I'm living on an island right now. Yeah. But Japan is an island with like 125 million people. And uh -huh. I assume I think Tenerife is not quite a million. So a little bit smaller. What is it like? Do you like it there? Yeah, it, this island is made. Well, all the islands are amazing. Are like you have mountain, you have a uh, beach, you have I don't know you you have a lot of things and a lot of animal, a lot of vegetation. Uh, um, from from here, it's only from here. In, in no other part of the world, you can find the the kind of vegetation uh, you can see here. Mm -hmm. For example, we have here the a flower, I don't know if it is a flower at all, uh, that uh, the name is Tajinaste, mm -hmm. and it, it, it you can't see in, in other part of the world, only here in the Canary Islands, and it's very beautiful to, to have this kind of things here. It's That's like uh, in Australia, you have only the uh, that kind of animal, like uh, the marsupials, you can only see the marsupials there, but uh, yeah. here it's the same, you have only... That's cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, Are the it's a uh, it's technically part of Spain, right? The Canary Islands. Yeah, because they come here like uh, five hundred years ago, and mm. um, you know things happen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they kill a lot of people, and then yeah, we we were calling nice. I see. All right. Do you know is your family descended from native people or Spanish or both? It's complicated because uh, we have a mix of, uh, I mean, this is a good strategy point, um, how to say, to to the market. I don't know. Uh, maybe for the market, yes, because everybody comes here to go to Africa, to go to, go to South America, to go to Spain, to go to other parts of the world. All, all the people comes to here. Uh -huh. The Vikings, I I think the Vikings were was the the first ones to come here, and I think the Morons were here. I don't know something like that. It's very imp complicated the story from the Canary Islands. It's very beautiful, but it's complicated to know exactly uh, what are uh, our origins. Yeah, uh, we know we have uh, symbols, uh, cultural symbols like the Vikings and. Mm. Uh, the stuff uh, to, to drink water or to make the food are similar to them. Even mm -hmm. the boats uh, near to these seas, to the island, are yeah. very similar of the boats of the Vikings. I have no idea. I'm, I'm already learning things. And and we we are so far from there, you know. Uh, it's yeah. like we are on Africa. Uh, Vikings comes from the the dark away countries. It's very very. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. So do you like it there? Is there much of a of a music scene on the island? Is there any like uh, big big city like cities with nightlife and things like that that you can play? Here, we don't have a big culture about electronic music. Mm. It's very pure, poor, the, the culture, the culture of electronic music. I see. We we have here the culture of Latin music that is reggaeton, uh, mombaton, and that kind of style of music. Yeah. So it's difficult to grow up here like... A producer of electronic music. Um, I have a friend, Castillo, mm -hmm. for example, that is is crazy what he he got on other countries, but here is he's not is nothing here. Yeah, <laughs> the same as me. Uh, I I'm and the, the people from Germany and from France. Uh, um, they love me a lot. I love my, them, of of course. Yeah, <laughs> I have a lot of public there um here is like 
why if I'm from here, I, I do stuff here, why I'm not recognized like a good artist here? It's what happens sometimes. Uh, um, you need to adapt to the circumstance of your where you live. If you need to go out, you, you just do it because it's what you need to do. <laughs> so you don't think you're going to change to be a reggaeton artist? Anytime, <laughs> of course. No, I, also, I hate the reggaeton. I oh, mean, no. it because I don't like the lyrics are very machist and mm. very Danny Grants, and I don't like that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to be associated on that kind of of style. I I'm an artist. I mean, maybe yes, because if I need to do a work, it's music. You know, it's not the same. The lettering of the track done the. Mm, uh, it's, it's not the same the music is apart from the lettering of the track so if I need to do a track or a collaboration maybe I will do it uh, but I'm not so happy <laughs> you yeah. know because I will not like maybe the lettering of the track but this is thing, the, the, the thing of the artist the, the other artist you know is yeah. different so if uh, if electronic music isn't so popular on your island uh, how did you discover it? Because uh, when I was a child, I had a lot of problems in my life. Mm. Mom abandoned me when I was like uh, 13 or 14 or something like that. I was uh, happening. I was having a bad situation, mm. Mm, living in the streets and uh, no food, uh, only eating one bread a day, something like that. And I listened a lot of the radio here. There was a radio. Uh, the the name is Maxima FM, mm -hmm. and uh, there I listened to my first artist that helped me to continue <laughs> in the in to keep uh, going with, to keep going. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was Afrojack, the Big Geta. Wow. I remember too. Uh, that was the absolutely the the guys that I said, okay, I need to do, I, I want to do something with the music. Daft Punk, Daft yeah. Punk were the 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 ones that I when I listened one more time. Yeah, and around the world, yo, yeah. uh, wow, my my mind exploded. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was like what the fuck. And then I discovered some techno music they they have. Uh, because at the first uh moments they start and the, the Daft Punk start, they play some techno music, some strange techno music, and mm -hmm. it was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, it's it's whoa, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that artist that was in in the moment uh saved me from the from the streets. Also, I, it was not the 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 beginning because when it was uh. Three years old, something like that. I remember to have uh, headphones like this, very big. Yeah. <laughs> so a, a little child with a big headphone. So cute. <laughs> uh, listening to techno, like <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, very cool, very, very nice. So yeah, from very child, I, I, I listen to electronic music. I think the passion, my passion is from where when I born. Yeah, I think this from where I born. But the peak. The big time I, I decided to be part of this uh, was from, yeah, when I had uh, bad moments because the people always uh, left me, but the music was always there. Mm -hmm. No, the music never disappeared. Uh, was the only thing I had in my life, in my life. That's intense. So, yeah. uh, so you you discovered like David Guetta, Afrojack, Daft Punk, and this. Uh, did you decide that you wanted to become a musician? Then was that when yeah. your interest in production started as well? Yeah, uh, I discovered to Justice uh, the so, um, uh, like a French style. Uh, a lot of I I discovered a new world with all kinds of artists. Mm -hmm. So I I remember. <laughs> I was doing with the with the Windows Media Player. Yeah. Uh, they uh, no the record 
from Windows Media. Mm -hmm. It has uh, on the Windows XP has an option the you can duplicate the velocity of the track. So I did some mix. Yeah, the, uh, with with the Win some music. Windows Media Player mixing, some DJing. Yeah. And th that's how I start with that shit. <laughs> you know, nice. <laughs> I, I I started to produce big room. Yeah, like uh... like hardware and all the stuff in the moment. Like in two, two 20, 2011. 2011, maybe. Yeah, uh, I was like seventeen when I started to produce uh, some shit. And then did it take you a while before you kind of found your sound and identity as Bloody Boy? Sorry? Did it take you, because now you mostly you're doing uh, house music. It's pretty, uh, yeah. you know, it's, you have, I think you have a strong sound, a strong identity to your music. Did you have that? Um, did you always have that? Or did it take you time to discover what it was oh. that you wanted to, to make? I think always takes you time to discover what is your not not maybe not your style sometimes your style too but your song is very important and yeah it may it takes time a lot of time sometimes I was uh three years or four years producing a big room then the future house what was the area of future house i like how it sounds so i started to produce uh, uh that that kind of of things a uh, future house i was not clearly uh, adapted to the f new style so i tried to do another things like uh, experiment with sounds or things like that and then i discovered something like uh, the start of the bass house, you know, the, there was Chami, for example, helped me with that because Chami was in the future house. And then he was like, I think he was doing the same. Um, he was experimenting with sounds and discovered the, that uh, deep basses and start with that kind of thing. So I, I, I like that style. I start to create things like that too. And my first track that really was a good one was UFO. That track was the one that when I released it on Deep Obelisk, it, it was like, whoa, I, I, I'm growing up. Uh, this label released that this track is a big label and they choose the tra this track to, to release it. And my friends uh, was like, Oh, dude, dude, what the fuck? It, this is amazing. Uh, you're growing up. So, yeah. Uh, I released only one track with them. It was crazy. Uh, I mean, it was crazy in the, in, uh, we, we, not like a big artist, like an art artist. So, it, like an art, a small artist, it was crazy because yeah. it's, it's that, like a that first moment impulse. when you're like, wow, my music, people are listening to my music. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I saw it like uh, three, uh, two, um, 20K of people listening to my track. It was like, whoa. <laughs> so then I discovered Moretti and they adopt me. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It, it was like a relation of, okay, you are the producer. I'm the label. You give me tracks and release. We release, but uh, I think the smoke the drop was the, the first one I I I gave them. It doesn't was the the best one, obviously. Uh, oh yeah, because we did some remix uh, on and for another artist. I mean, another artist uh, uh, asked me to do remix of that. Uh, track uh, nowadays that track to me is a shit but <laughs> <laughs> in the moment was like uh, a good track nice do you so you um 